This time it's the googly. Ja may not have picked it. It doesn't matter because he's smashed it high and handsome. Back-to-back sixes. Pressure on Aki Bilias. And the Nepali flag, it's flying high in King City. Thanks to this young man, Gulshan Ja. Back-to-back boundaries in the last over. Back-to-back big ones in this over. Gulshan Ja, he's giving those Nepali fans. The flags are waving. Have a look there. They're happy with it. He's giving them something to celebrate here. Gulshan Ja, just bringing the impetus to this Nepali innings. It was definitely the googly, wasn't it, from Aki Bilyas. You could see it out of the back of the hand, but Ja just played the same stroke. Look at it there. That's the first. Like that's the second one. Get down on the slog sweep. And ja just measures himself. Slight like change in the field. Another man to come over to the leg side. Gets it full enough to not go for six more. Will be a single. Amazing to think of Dependra Singhairi hidden all the way down at number eight. Yeah, I was just going to ask you about that. It's one of those things, as we look at that six, what a hit that was from Gulshan Ja. Just too many options, you would say. It's a lot of all-rounders in the squad, a lot of people like a bull and bat. I, I think it's something team. Nepal fans have had a bit of frustration with because of the... I, I think Monty Desai wants them to have a flexible order, but some batters may be not certain of what their, their roles are at times as a consequence. I think a lot of it is around trying to maintain a left-hand, right-hand combination throughout. So usually Rohit Powell would have come in at number four, but instead they went with Mala at four to get the left-hander in, and then as soon as Mala departed, rather than it being Dependra Singh Iri, in comes Gulshan Ja. Gulshan Ja proving him right at this state. If he keeps going like this, he'll get past 150 comfortably, but he has to keep going for his team. He's the first batter across the two T20s now, into the second game of the Snow Frills T20 Cup. First batter to strike at more than two runs per ball, and, and he's done it really from the moment he walked to the crease. Yeah, there is some turn on offer there as well. So the, Sandy Blamichane, he'll be having a look. Akibili, yes, first three overs, took three for, but Gulshan Jazz has taken a liking to him in this over. Now, Kushal Bertel is trying to join the party. He's got it square enough, and he gets it all the way. Six more. It's the third six of the over. Oman's captain taken to the cleaners in his fourth and final. The over's gone for 21. Nepal are on the charge. It's 130 for five. And that 124 that they needed to win. They've got a lot more than that already. Three to go. And Cali Muller comes into the attack and he's given the same treatment. It's the larger side of the ground and it matters not. It's six more. It's the Gulshan Ja show in King City. Gulshan Ja, welcome to the party. At no point was there any intention to keep this down. Up and over, there are two men out there. One at third man at deep point. And he says, don't worry about it. I'll hit this over the rope. Gulshan Ja, he's having... Scores of 15, 53, and 34 in the ODIs, alongside seven wickets with the ball. And now, right from the off, as soon as he walked to the crease, he's showing all of his dexterity and his brilliance with his left-handed batting. This is a superb inning. 31 off just 11. And you can see the plan for Kali Mullah. There's two men out, square the boundary on the offside. He's going to go wide and full here again. And he didn't miss by much, Lenny. Just a couple of centimetres he missed by, and it went all the way. It was enough for Gulshan Jai to get under it. The ball colliding into his back, deflecting away to a fielder. I don't think you could blame him. And now he's shown his mental resilience and his brilliance with the bat. It's four more. Gulshan Jai putting on a clinic. Yeah, full toss. The plane's not working here for Kali Mullah. He's got to change it up here. Just not finding his areas. He's missing full. Full toss on this negation, and Gulshan Ja moving across his stumps. Going to hit this straight back over the bowler. And I'm not sure about the effort here, Lenny. A dive has to be put in. Times 34 if you include today. This has gone a long way up. I think it's going to just about land safely. I wouldn't exactly call that an inspirational effort from Cali Kale and great running. The World Cup. Especially in the middle and death overs, he was somebody that Oman counted on. And he has just been nobody that they could rely on at all. There he sees the first drop catch from the man that's with the ball in hand right now in the first over. I vote for that when he had to go with two hands. I know you were on call at the time. We're going to come back live with you. That was the second drop catch. 
Because it's a perfect Yorker. That's where they're trying to nail it, the depth. They're trying to hit that block hole. Almost impossible to play when you get it right. Get a look at the second drop catch. This, for me, was more unforgivable and a completely, uh, just a misjudgment in the deep, wasn't it? Yeah, just absolutely no balance now whatsoever. That's a replay Kyle Kill will not want to watch later, I'll tell you that, Lenny. It, it, the only thing I'll say is, it, on this outfield, it is quite undulating and it can be difficult to kind of get your... It's a bit up and down, isn't it? And it's a bit soft, quite heavy out there, too. Lenny, Lenny we're playing international cricket. I'd, I'd have caught that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have my money on the ball. Whipped into the leg side. Protection out there, so should just be the single this time. Can Oman chase this down if Nepal end up with, let's say, 170? I've got the ability. You wouldn't put them out of it. The one thing I've learned about associate cricket... Lenny, and I think you know this better than anybody. Do you not count your chicken, your eggs before they hatch? No. What is, what's, the, what's the saying there? I'm going to ruin it, but your, 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 your chickens before they hatch. There we go. I think that's it. Well, Manali, Manali Patel is claiming that it's it's don't count the chickens before they hatch. That's probably wrong then. <laughs> yeah. <very. laughs> you've, It'll be some Canadianism. Lenny, you've got, you've got Lambu Dai right. on your side. I'm going to be on Manali's side here. Oh, look, She's 100% I, I right. Say, I love the Lambu Dai shout. <laughs> Don't count your maple syrup before... For the sap runs. Okay. Got to get some maple syrup before I go home. Final ball of the 19th. Full toss. Come into bowl. His fourth. Pretel will look to hit straight, you would suspect. Cross it. Protection out there. And holds out. out. <laughs> That's a good catch held in the deep. And an interesting celebration. Maybe one of... Maybe quiet down, Nepal fans. We've had enough cheering from you. That's Ayan Khan out there, isn't it? And he was right in front of the hospitality tent against the Nepal fans. And he was having a long conversation with them. So I agree, but Kushal Bertel looking to go over the top. It's a big boundary. That's the bigger boundary for the right-hander. I like it. I like it, Lenny. Adding a little spice to the competition. Six wicket falls. It is 158 for six as Bertel, he departs for 20. <laughs> you were asking for him a little bit earlier there, Lenny. Devinder Singh Ayri, he's going to walk out there now. He's got five balls. But you've got to say, like Gulshan Ja, the last one deliveries. Dipendra Singh Ayri, I agree. It's funny one, isn't it? Dipendra Singh Ayri is a man who's, who's at six sixes and over. He can clear any boundary anywhere in the world. But actually, his job here is the fact that Shakil Ahmed bowling and the hot streak that Gulshan Ja is on. He's got to get a single. And he's so quick. He can any bat on ball here, basically to anywhere in the 30 yard circle as well. So no need to have a swing. Just get some battle in the down for the last four balls. It's not a particularly clever piece of cricket. Just needs to drop and run. Irie's maybe the fastest in the world game. Big swing and a miss. Good start from Ahmed. Again, the momentum has been on their side for the last four overs. Come on there, Lenny. Tries to get six. He may well have got it <laughs> in the ground. He says, Lenny, you eat your words. I'm going to pongo him all the way for a maximum. What a strike from the water only to Pendra. What do we know, Larry? What do we know? There's a reason we're here and they're out there, Lenny. And, and Dependra Singh Ari says, I'll launch this over the top. Short boundary there. Gets it over the sight screen. We might have to get another ball on. Field. I do think this is something Nepal have throughout the order. I know there's been indifferent performances, lots of starts from their batters. They have definitely made a conscious decision to try and hit straight. And, and that is meeting the conditions. They're finally adjusting to those conditions and recognizing, hold on, we've got a big disparity with the boundary distances, particularly from this end. I also think it's a misstep from Oman. Bowling the 20th and final from this end. 57 meters. <laughs> he's he he's going to go bang again. This is <laughs> massive. Oh, it's out of the ground. It's <laughs> over the retaining net. <laughs> New balls, please. The call. Irie. Oh, yes. Irie, nine ball 50. He, had. he doesn't need that today. He just wants to keep launching him for six. And he's doing it so well. You're right, Lenny. They're hitting straight. I, s I thought that that might be the advantage for them. He spent a lot of time here in Canada over the last few months. And look at this. Bang goes Dependra Singh Airy. <laughs> that is right out of the screws. That retaining net there, never great with height. It's probably about 20 meters high, if not maybe 25. 
and that has gone soaring not only over at Arsalan but actually continuing to go up as it goes by it and that is an extraordinary stroke and look at the swagger of Dependra Singh Iri. you have to love the Tiger he's at it again what a brilliant cricketer he is bat ball in the field he's dynamic and he's showing us why 170 for 6 now Lenny 19.4 2 balls to go can he go can he go again mm. I suspect he will go again. He's not going to slow down here. It's a brilliant effort from Dependra Singh. Tiger Eye, Tiger Eye. Well, 170 is crossed, and this is much more like it. And I'll tell you something, the curation team here will read a heavy sigh of relief. They thought it was an excellent pitch yesterday. They couldn't understand why it was 120, played 110. But it's been very different today, and credit to them for sticking with the same surface. Two balls remaining. Nairi is going to get four more. Six, six, four. What a little cameo. He says to Monty Desai, don't hide me away at number eight. I need more balls than that. This is a brilliant finish from Nepal. Depender Singh Nairi. He's throwing the kitchen sink, the, the oven, everything at that one. Just gets the top at the edge. Zishan Maksud had no chance. Four more runs to the total. One ball to go here. This is going again, Lenny. There's no chance. This is going again. Well bowled, Shaquille Ahmed. I think they'll probably try and run two. And Depender Singh Ari is so quick. Look at him. He's going to get there. It's quite ridiculous how fast he is. And he'll sprint off with a, a swagger in his step as he's pumped 18 from just five deliveries. Who are we to say he should have taken?